Hello, hello, hello! Anderson Gaming here, back with another benchmark video of me playing Warzone 2.0. And in this video, I re uh, I revisit the game, seeing what uh, mistakes I have made uh, from my last previous benchmark video. You can find that video in the description uh, down below. It's linked in the description, so do check it out. So apparently, Infinity Ward have fixed some of the major problems in this game, such as the servers crashing, the game uh, having micro stutters here and there, and also hitching and hiccups. Those problems are mostly gone, but there are still some issues, some major issues uh, present in the game, which you shall see later. Uh, all the necessary timestamps are marked, uh, so you can mouse over with your mouse. Uh, on the progress bar to check out all the chapters the necessary chapters that you might want to look into So do feel free to skip to any point that you might want to see. I Have also indicated areas of the games uh, Crashes yes, the game does crash once again, uh, but you will know why uh, sooner. That's the twist So I hope you guys appreciate it. Actually, I did make a recording two days ago I did reinstall the game So the first benchmark was made on the 16th of November when this game initially released on Steam I had to wait for at least 10 to 14 days to reinstall the game again, uh, hoping that they would fix all the major problems uh, in the game, which they have. So this is my second benchmark video. It's over 45 minutes long. Please forgive me for the extended duration. But then again, this is an extended benchmark. I can't be lazy uh, make a, by making a really short video. I don't want to do that. I want to keep my dear viewers informed on every aspect. I don't want to be my uh, like most uh, viewers. Uh, actually, one of the viewers on my previous video commented uh, saying that he did not have any problems, but he did comment after a week since my initial upload of the first benchmark video. So you will see his comments on the screen here. So I don't know if, if he subscribed to my channel or if he's some random person that just happened to cr uh, cross upon my video on YouTube, but. Uh, I don't want to ignore any comments. Uh, I don't really give a fuck if he is a hater or if he's not subscribed, but you know, he still provided a fair explanation to uh, my first video, my first extended benchmark video of was on 2.0. So the last thing that I would want to do is be misinformed or misinform my dear viewers. I don't want to be a product of misinformation. I cannot misinform anybody. I don't want to be a fraud. I don't want to bring down a billion dollar uh, video game franchise that's not my goal i want to keep my dear viewers informed so please forgive me for the mistakes i have made in my first video but the re the results already speak for themselves if you have seen the first video uh yes the game was really broken and uh, any level-headed human being that has played the game on the first day release with the day one patch they know how much of a fucking pain in the ass it was to play that game so anyone that is coming from where I have been, that is on the 16th of November uh, when Warzone 2.0 did release, you would know what I'm talking about. So I'm not really faking any information. Be informed on that regard. So let's move on to the video. Uh, thank you guys. And also don't please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on bell notifications. Please like this video at the end if you have found it useful and helpful for you. And uh, do share this video with your friends and family uh, to people that are playing Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. And uh, I appreciate your time. So thank you guys. Let's get into the video. Hello everybody. Anderson Gaming here. Back with Call of Duty. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022. Or shall I say to be more accurate. Warzone 2.0. And we are going to be doing another uh, revisited benchmark. Because apparently the game has been fixed. Uh, you people have no idea. Yes. The, as you can see. Based on the settings. Uh... It looks like there is evidence of me having already play, uh, played the game. Yes, I have played the game. The game does run fine. Uh, in some presets, in some presets, not all of them. So we are going to start with minimum. Alright, and then let's default to NVIDIA image scaling. So minimum, most of the settings are low. So let me just scroll down slowly so you have an idea of what the settings are set to. Okay, I am. I have turned on NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and you can see that I have positioned the RTSS HUD towards the right side. Although I can turn it off and even at the top left corner, filling up the first half of the screen, you can see a lot of the important information that you might need such as FPS, latency, packet loss, GPU temperature, 
the GPU uh, latency timing, GPU clock speeds. As you can see, I did not overclock the GPU. This is the stock clock that comes with my GPU. That is the MSI Ventus 2X RTX 3060 Ti or GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, 8 gigs of VRAM. So it's running at stock clocks. The VRAM usage, uh, it is irrelevant because uh, it's not accurate anyway. Doesn't make any sense. CPU time is uh, based on my uh, CPU, how fast it's taking for the CPU to respond while in the game to load maps and other assets. So this is the setting I'm, I'm going to be starting with. So let's carry on. And yeah, okay. Alright. Make sure you have turned off world motion blur and weapon motion blur because you can't see shit. So I'm going to be doing quads because quads is where the map is populated to the maximum and we want to see how the hardware and the computer handles these situations so i could play solo or duo but i don't care it doesn't matter if i keep dying a couple of times if i'm not able to survive for a longer period of time that's not important what's important what's important is the benchmark the results and that's all you should care about i did make a recording before uh, two or three days ago but what went wrong was uh, the audio did not get recorded. The in-game audio did not get recorded. My voice got recorded, but even then it was broken. I'm using an AI-powered recording tool known as NVIDIA Broadcast, which eliminates all the background noise, and you can only hear my voice alone. I do have the fan running at full speed, my ceiling fan. Chances are you, you won't hear it. So, um, let's see. We have gotten a uh, team. We are loading into the map. So I'm going to turn on my RTSS overlay. Yes, it is a bit uh, wide. So you're going to have to put up with it. I can't say much. <laughs> so I'll have it turned on for the initial couple of seconds. So you have an idea of how the FPS would be. You can take a look at the stats. My CPU is a Ryzen 7 5700G. It's an 8 core 16 thread CPU overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz at 1.3 volts 1.35 volts sorry i'm being very specific with my numbers i don't want to mess anything up take this time to warm up yeah uh, and you can see the game is really fluid fluidic 70 fps but the game does feel smooth smooth to me anybody over there okay 100 fps 80 70 so some areas will have frame rates under 70 you are gonna have to adjust with that there's no slight cancelling in this game as far as i can see yeah they have removed that that's fine no one gives a shit and i'm just running around you can take a look at the frame rates at both the top left corner and the right side of the screen 80 fps in this particular region even the visuals do look good we are playing at minimum preset Preparation is done. not even basic all right so let's load into the map, see how the game actually runs at this part. I want to keep this video as short as I can, but if there are any unwanted parts, I will edit them out, so don't worry. Uh, places where I keep running non-stop, places where I uh, just uh, don't do anything active, I will I will uh, remove those parts. So in the plane, we are getting up to 80 FPS. I feel like we're supposed to get 100 over here, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, I have to uh, reconfigure my controls again. Let's get that so do adjust with my playstyle, guys. I'm playing this game for the first time. Although I have been playing the first Warzone for over a year. And then they brought the Vanguard uh, implement uh, implementation in the game. And then I basically stopped playing the game from that point onwards. So yes, I am a seasoned player. But in this game, they have changed a lot of mechanics. In Warzone 2.0, so I'm not sure how well I would be doing. So the frame rates are looking steady. You are looking for at least 90 at 1440p. Look at this bastard trying to block me. It's okay. He's taking everything, man. Fucking douchebag.
I hope you get shot by somebody. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we are looking at a solid 100 FPS over here towards the uh, eastern side of the map. Okay, it doesn't show north on the uh, radar. But the compass is still visible. The pixels do look good. The game does look sharp over here with NVIDIA image scaling. And we do have filmic... Uh... Oh god, I wasn't expecting someone to be here. It's okay, no one gives a shit. Yeah, so this game is actually eating up a lot of my FPS. Uh, my my hardware, I mean, my hardware. Sorry, guys. So, uh. I'm still really sloppy with the controls. I, I could not melee that guy on time. Fucking kidding me. That cocksucker actually laid his hands on me. Anyway. Oh, I was trying to type something in chat. Fine, we'll just spectate some idiots here. Oh, he got fucked in the ass. Okay. Well deserved. So we do have NVIDIA image scaling on. Let's open up the settings. See how it is. This will give us a chance to actually know what the game runs like. While we are not playing the game. While we are spectating, it, it's still similar to playing the game. Only thing is we are not controlling the character that we are watching. So Filmic SMAAT2X at ultra quality. You can see that we're getting around 75 to 90 FPS. In some places, 100 FPS even. Oh, these guys can aim for shit. Okay. Right. Okay, yeah, my teammates are actually fucking pathetic. So let's upscale the graphics a bit. I'm gonna quit this match, I wanna make it fast, I, I can't wait for these guys, I feel like they're gonna take too much time. I, I mean, they've already proven their, their fucking competence by being a bunch of bitches. Alright, so let's move up to basic. So we have turned on basic, basic preset. Let's check it again because I, I did click on apply and even then it's asking me to confirm. Right, so let's carry on. Quads, looking for a match. So we have done 1440p. Uh, basic, and now we're sorry, minimum, and now we're doing basic. Okay. I remember the F key back in Warzone 1.0 used to be the melee uh, uh, key. Uh, they've changed it to V for some reason. I don't understand. I have to play around with the hotkeys a bit. So you can see that my GPU temperature is almost at 75 in some places. But as long as the clock speeds are above 1800 megahertz, you're fine. So the GPU clock must be above 1800 or 1800. Ensure that. So that you have the best possible experience that you can in any game with the GTX, sorry, RTX 3060 Ti. You don't want it below that. Sometimes it will go down to 1695 megahertz, but that's fine. That's like the uh, the stock speed for an RTX 3060 Ti. The boost clock can be anywhere, depending on your model. You could be having an Asus ROG version, Gigabyte version. So the one I have is like the bottom of the bottom of the barrel version. It's a Ventus. It's got a plastic. Uh, backplate on it. It's got a really thin heatsink on it. It does have a dual fan at least. Thank heavens for that. I have changed the thermal pads on it and I've even changed the thermal paste on it and even then the temperatures are always going above 72 or 73. Not much I can do. That's the money I have paid for and that's the product I shall be receiving.
Can't really complain. So we do have a lot of good visual here. Some bastard was following me. Okay, let's look at the frame rates now. So we are looking at more or less the same. 90. This is an empty region. Warm up is over. One second. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Sorry guys, I was distracted. Anyway, so sometimes the frame rates can dis differ by 10 or 5 FPS, give or take. Because uh, in some maps you have either too many players, like in some matches, I could be done playing this match right now and then I could go on to the next one. So in this current matchup, I could be getting 10 frames more and in the next one I could be getting 10 frames less. So do keep that in mind. In some uh, variations of the game in some renditions of the game map you will either have higher FPS or low FPS but as long as it's above 80 FPS I think you're good to go you shouldn't be worrying too much about it considering the fact that you're playing at 1440p okay you can see that there are no micro stutters no hiccups no hitching like we used to see in the previous video that was actually a bit painful very painful in fact because we had multiple crashes and also another thing my dear people uh, ensure that you have not overclocked your hardware to the to the highest because this game does not do well on overclocks may it be memory or your cpu well cpu overclocks will not really harm the hardware or the game uh, sorry, not that I'm, I'm talking out of my ass here. Uh, it will not harm the game's performance, but uh, if you do overclock your uh, GPU clock speed. Enemy on the move. There's nothing left to take. Your squad mate is in the gulag now. If they survive, they deployed. Oh, you guys are fucking trash, bro. I was hitting the V key, I'm pretty sure. Why is this fucking key in the V, man? I, 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 I gotta change it. I gotta change it. This is so frustrating. Because I do remember hitting the V key. And my character was not doing anything. I'm just gonna change it to F. Fuck it. So F is, uh... Interact, right? Let's put Your that to E. No Let me see if it works. <laughs> yeah, of course, bastard. It's my fault. I'm the one fucking going up to them. It's my fault. I'm not playing smart. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's been like over a year since I got back to Warzone. How do I leave this? Okay, let's carry on. So more or less the same frames as before. Uh, as we did see in minimum. If I'm not wrong. Minimum is the lowest, right? Yeah, so let's go to balanced. Let's try playing balanced. So balanced is not going to change a lot of settings, only a few. You won't see much of a difference, but once we do get to ultra, that's when we have to turn on the upscaling techniques, such as NVIDIA DLSS. Okay, let's carry on. So far, we are off to a bad start, but at least the game is running fine. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, we have got another match. We are loading in. So waiting for a couple of minutes. I gotta be more careful with my playstyle. I'm playing like shit. That's okay, I guess. Because you're only doing a benchmark video here. You're not trying to be a professional player here. When I first benchmarked this game on the 16th, it had a lot of problems. More problems than any level-headed human being can actually handle in a fucking video game. I wasted one hour or more than one hour trying to play th this game back then. Now it's fine, but back then it was really painful. So yeah, you can see the frame rates have dropped down a bit. 
Slightly, slightly, like it's at 75, where we used to be getting uh, 85, 90, we are getting 75 now. So it has dropped down by a bit, but not by a huge amount. Game still more or less looks the same. Yeah, I'm not aiming properly. It's okay. Who gives a shit? Okay, managed to kill that guy. Alright, so 77. This is actually a considerably open area with not a lot of buildings here. Not a lot of players and we are still getting around 75, 78. Which is average, I would say. And yes, the game is lagging right now. But after a couple of seconds, it will be stable. Wait and watch. Because the game is still loading in all the assets. So if you do have your presets set anything to above higher than balanced, do expect some lag because the game is busy loading textures, map assets and human beings. I mean players. So you're going to have to put up with these FPS drops. So don't worry about that. It's only temporary. So after this, after a couple of minutes, we'll be switching to Ultra. And after we do switch to Ultra, I am going to have to turn on NVIDIA DLSS. Yeah, the game is lagging so much here, but you're gonna have to put up with it. Okay, see? Make sure you do a 360 degree turn so that the game's map is rendered fully. Okay. Alright, I can work with this. his ass okay I was looking at the radar the top left corner I'm so glad I have the HUD set to the right side because uh, doing my earlier benchmark I could not see shit so now I can thank heavens okay so far looking good you cannot do slight cancels like you can in uh, Warzone 1 But that's okay. I mean, I, I I can I can deal with that that change. It's not a big deal for me. But it is gonna be a big deal for the sweat sweaty ass players. The sweat motherfuckers are gonna be really pissed off. Right. So the frame rates are looking okay. I would say nothing bad, nothing great. So yeah. Oh, the looting is really bad this game. They have a lot of objects stacked, up, stacked up on bookshelves and shit. Cupboards and whatnot. I don't really like that. So you can see the game is running quite smooth here. Not a lot of drops. A lot, uh, balance preset. NVIDIA image scaling at uh, the T2X, I guess. Just temporal anti-aliasing. Yeah, I like that song. Yeah. Beautiful looking game. You you guys really have to see the water. The water is actually beautiful in this game. No cap. <sighs> okay, let's keep it moving. So we are at 80 FPS more or less, but this is a fairly empty area. Okay, that was crazy. 
I guess they had a view of us on the radar. There are more people coming towards the uh, west side. Got to be careful. Enemy precision airstrike. Find cover. Friendly UAV online. Get the fuck out of there. Oh god. Mistakes were made, boys. Oh, I can't- I can't get up there. Seriously? Oh god. It's okay. Fun. Fun. It was fun. 92. Sweaty cunt. Yeah. Okay, let's skip. It's fun, guys. I still need more practice. Can't win shit without communication. No one's communicating. Everybody's being a mute little bitch. The temperature is a bit too high for my taste. Soldiers, your pathetic lives belong to me now. There is only one way to win them back. Time to kill! Got one? No one lucky, I just got lucky. Oh, they've all left. Fucking vaginas. Okay, let's move on to the next. I was wondering why I could not see any names at that bottom left corner. Okay. Can I skip this? Hello? Oh, thank you. I have to hit the escape key, I guess. Right. So let's uh, turn on Ultra, which is the last uh, preset that we have to test it out. NVIDIA DLSS set to quality. All right. So let's try it and then we'll go to balanced. And then we'll try performance. But I'm pretty sure if we do try performance, the game is going to look like shit. It's going to look all blurry. You cannot identify enemy players from static objects or hard objects. You cannot tell a head from a piece of wood. So do keep that in mind if you are turning on performance mode for NVIDIA DLSS. It's not recommended. But I will still benchmark it either way. We have got a match. <clears throat> so I think this is 30 minutes long. I hope. I want to make this video as short as possible. Without any issues. I can run this game at under voltage settings. But I will let you know if it works. I really cannot try any overclocks or undervolting, undervolted profiles while I'm doing a benchmark video. 
it's not fair so i'm not going to do that but uh, later on i will comment in the comment section stating if this game does run well on undervolted profiles if you do not know what undervolting or overclocking is you can search on youtube for other videos that are much more well informed than mine I think the game just crashed. Yes, hello everybody. Um, the game did crash. That was our first crash during this benchmark run. First soft crash back to desktop. No error codes. Um, this only happened when we did use the ultra preset. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Because I did play at... Oh, we have depth of field on, I guess. Okay. Fine, let's just leave. Try it again. Let's try to find a match with quads again. This happened to me the first time because I do remember playing a few days ago. I think two days ago. On Ultra Preset with NVIDIA DLSS Quality Mode. And the game did not crash. But it was lagging like crazy because the game is gonna go through hell trying to load all the textures. And the map so you're gonna have to deal with that initial uh, stutter heavy stutters or lag for like five or ten seconds if you want to have a stable gameplay experience playing this game that is warzone 2.0 play from anywhere under balanced preset from balanced to uh, basic to minimum so you'll have the most sta uh, stable gameplay experience while playing on any of these three presets on a 3060 Ti. I'm not sure about the 3070, the 3070 Ti, the 3080, the 3080 Ti if there is a Ti variant of the 3080 and 3090 and 3090 Ti. I'm not sure how the game works. But I'm pretty sure you can go, go crazy on your particular setup if you have higher specs than mine. And as for AMD, not sure. So I think a good 1440p gaming card for AMD is the 6700 XT, RX 6700 XT. You can check on YouTube for similar videos that have benchmarked AMD cards. Let's see if the game loads this time. Warm up while you can. Okay. Yeah, the game has loaded. So I don't think it happens often, I guess. Doesn't happen often. I, th I think we can deal with that. But I still not play. Personally, I would prefer playing anywhere under Ultra. I don't want to play anything. I don't want to play on any anything above Balanced. So that is my... Uh, this is what I think I should be doing. So we're getting around the same FPS. But then again, this is a quite open... Uh, area there's not a lot of buildings here so if you are in a building zone building area you're gonna face fps of frame rates of uh, around 65 to 75 not the most optimal gaming experience that you would want yeah nvidia dls is actually looks ugly here i mean you i don't know if you can see it but it's quite blurry even with quality mode enabled Yes, like I said, the initial lag is gonna be there. A lot of nice words in the all chat at the right side. People being extremely polite today. Like always, when you're in the plane, make sure you do a full 360 degree turn with your mouse. Turn the camera, look up and down, so that you have loaded the entire ma uh, entire map properly. Want to jump, buddy? Let's go. Oh, hello, guys. In case you are not aware, what happened? The game did crash a second time under Ultra preset, so I'm gonna change one tiny little setting here to see if it makes a difference let's try balanced shall we 
The game already looks ugly under quality preset under NVIDIA DLSS. So let's try this and see if it does change anything. Yeah, it, it, the, the game is still not ironed out. The game is still not ironed out. It's still acting crazy. For the optimal gaming experience on a 3060 Ti, I would suggest playing anywhere from balanced to minimum presets with NVIDIA image scaling turned on. As long as the game runs above 80 FPS, you're fine. I don't think you should complain. But if you do want FPS above 100, 120, you're going to have to set everything to low. Quite possibly even turn on NVIDIA DLSS or NVIDIA DLAA while still at, while still at minimum and basic presets. If that's what you want. For me, I'm okay with this. I don't mind playing at 80 FPS. But for some hardcore gamers, they would definitely want frame, frame rates above 120 maybe 150 so those frame rates are not possible with the 3060 ti maybe if a you have a uh, 3070 or a 3080 that's possible but it's questionable it is doubtful with the 3060 ti so be informed on that area if the game crashes again um so if the game does crash again i'm gonna try something different i'm gonna turn off nvidia dlss Still keep the preset at ultra and uh, I'm gonna try some other upscaling technique because I think NVIDIA DLSS is bugged in this game. I think it's broken. The the previous time I did the test, yeah, you can look at the memory VRAM usage going all the way up to almost 8 gigs. So that's not nice to see. Clock speeds are looking okay, I would say. Is the game gonna load? Okay, the game is loading. So we are playing at balanced. NVIDIA DLSS balanced. Not quality. So yeah, it looks more or less the same. Oh, he just owned me. Okay. I don't want to report that guy. Okay. Frame rates are looking decent over here. So let's get uh, get uh, let's uh, land over here because there are some buildings here. There's somebody over there. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Yeah. So 90 FPS. That's not bad. But do keep in mind in some areas there will be drops all the way down to 80 or even 60. Oh shit. Yep, the initial lag, like I have mentioned. Do a full 360 degree turn, full up and full down. That's it. So down and up and 360. Turn the camera around and vertically so that you have loaded the entire map. Where are we landing, guys? Oh, we're landing at the train, I guess. Okay. Wait, 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 again. Uh, I think we are live still. I don't think the recording broke off. Okay. So the game did crash a third time uh, with NVIDIA DLSS turned on at ultra preset. So let's try another last thing. Yeah, I know that. I know I keep saying that, but do bear with me. Uh, could be something running in the background, but I'm pretty sure the VRAM is not maxed out by any background application or even the game. So let's try one last thing. Let's go to NVIDIA image scaling. All right. Apply. Leave everything at stock. Uh, I'm not sure if depth of field is contributing, but I, I have a... I'm very suspicious of this setting. Could be depth of field. So let's go back and play quads another time, see if the game crashes. But do keep in mind, since we do not have an upscaling option turned on, I'm pretty sure that the frame rates are going to be absolute garbage because we are running at ultra pre preset which is notoriously high and it's too demanding and taxing for the hardware for my hardware which is decent hardware it's not really poor hardware so let's try it again it is a bit disappointing okay we have gotten a match let's see if it loads in some idiot is crying in the mic i'm gonna mute everybody 
Last thing I want to deal with is some 15 year old uh, Filipino fat boy making all sorts of uh, sexual noises on the microphone. I don't want to deal with that. Use this time to practice. We will be deploying soon. Okay. So, yep, the frame rates are looking really bad. 50, 62, 65. Wait, 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 wait. Soldier incoming. Oh god. Yeah. So when you zoom in it drops down to 50 and 45 even. What the fuck is that? Okay, let's see if the game actually loads into the map, the main map, after we jump down from the airplane. Yep, the initial stutter, but it's not there for too long. There was an update actually, today is the uh, 1st of December, and on, and on the 30th of November they did leave out an update. Let's do a full 360 degree sweep, vertical, up and down. The frame rates are looking really bad here, 55, more like console frame rates. Not really cool, but it's okay, fairly manageable. So we are not running any DLSS or any upscaling techniques apart from NVIDIA image scaling. Which I would argue it's actually decent, you know, it's it's good. Okay, I think we are not crashing here. Oh, they all want to go there, what the fuck. Right, so the frame rates are really bad, but at least it works in Ultra. So what I would suggest to you guys is not use NVIDIA DLSS. Personally, it's it's really broken. Maybe try it for your setup, it could work, but for mine it does not. It does not play well. Primary objective is to eliminate all targets. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I hit this bastard a couple of times. It's so frustrating. Uh, yeah, so the frame rates are looking like shit, and I think ray tracing is turned on. Is it? Is it turned on? Is that why we have the trouble here? Static reflection quality. I don't see any settings for. Hmm. Need to take another look at the settings once again. I think ray tracing is turned on based on the reflections. Bro, how am I not hitting him, bro? Fucking sweaty motherfuckers. Oh, well, the other guy at least tried to kill one. Feel bad for him. Anyway. So, the other three teammates are still alive. Let's watch them. Yeah, frame rates are not really good, guys. It's like jumping from 50 to 60. I don't like it. Uh, so, Ultra is not recommended. I don't recommend anyone using Ultra preset for 3060 Ti. Maybe if you have a 3070, try it. But for 3060 Ti, do not... Just trying to find any uh, ultra quality. What the fuck is all this shit? Let's try Nvidia DLA. 
Your DLA is also giving the same results as the stock NVIDIA image scaling setting. But there are a little bit of stutters here and there. Let's switch to somebody else who is outdoors. Okay, this guy's in the gulag. Strongholds located. Targets are marked under attack map. These guys are lagging real hard, man. I think I'm the only one that's got good uh, internet connection. Uh, the rest of my teammates, they are kissing ass over here. AMD FSR? Nah, fuck it. So, conclusion. Um, you cannot play the game. Right, let's try recommend it after this. Let's try recommend it. Recommend it with, uh, will auto detect your hardware. Your RAM. This is so weird. It looks really. Looks painful for my eyes. Oh, this is helmet cam. Okay. Oh, NVIDIA DLA really. I'm not sure if it's my PC or. It's only my fucking teammates that are lagging all the time. Okay, not bad, well played. So let's go and try recommend it while we're still in the map. I don't want to quit back to main menu and wait for another match. So reset recommended, visual quality. No need for performance. So it, you can see that it does select NVIDIA image scaling by default. Native preset, which is recommended. The game is still loading in the background. And the frame rates do look good, but we do have fucking motion blur on. Let's turn that shit off. We don't need it. Turn off DOF, weapon motion blur. So turn off these three settings. They are really cringe. Also turn on on plus boost for NVIDIA reflex low latency. Right. You're still getting the same frames, I guess, more or less. Confusing. Yeah, so in some areas, I guess you're gonna get around 65 to 70 FPS. You're gonna have to deal with that. Let's try performance. 65 to 70 on reset to recommended. So let's reset recommended on performance this time or oh, they're they're spawning me back again i think they're spawning their teammate yeah yeah they're not spawning me it's okay i don't give a shit anyway oh 80 fps okay I only care about the benchmark, I don't give a fuck about the game. Anyway, so uh, reset recommended. We did try visual quality. So on visual quality, we're getting up around 65 to 70 FPS, which is below average. Let's try performance preset. So it is rendering at 1080p. Oh God, it's running at 120 FPS. Yeah, so if you do run the game at 1080p and you try any preset that is all the way up to ultra i don't recommend extreme though Ex extreme is not cool extreme is even worse than ultra so i guess you can try ultra with this guy's fucking blind oh that's a teammate okay i saw somebody running at the left yeah that's what happens when you run in the open air did he rage quit i hope he did all right so if you do turn on recommended to visual quality, uh, sorry, if you do turn on reset recommended on performance, it the resolution downscales to 1080p and you're getting frame rates of around 100 on average, at least give or take. Crash again. Okay guys, um, so what is my final verdict? Yeah, the game is still fucking broken, but at least you can play it. Uh, the initial benchmark that I did on the 16th of November wasn't cool, it wasn't fun. It was really painful, but at least now they have fixed it, we can play it. So what would I recommend? Either play on minimum, basic or balanced preset.
at 1440p if you if you have a 3060 ti if you do have a 3070 try playing on ultra and try turning on nvidia dlss try turning on depth of field because in, in my experience i don't think depth of field is a good option to turn on and i don't think nvidia dlss is a good option to turn on for upscaling if you do have a 3060 ti but supposing if anyone does have a 3070 or knows a friend or a family member that has a 3070 and above nvidia rtx gpus do let me know i don't give a shit about gtx gpus because they are useless they are not really that powerful anymore they are outdated they are legacy hardware so i guess the only gtx gpu that you can argue is the gtx 1080 ti and even that is quite old but i mean you guys get my point so uh, anyway thank you guys for watching my video please do leave a like if this video has helped you uh, if you do have any questions or if you are not sure about the uh, certain things that I've done in this video, for example, if I've made any mistakes or if I have said something wrong or incorrect, please feel free to correct me in the comments down below. I will get back to you. But do please, uh, please do keep uh, things civil. Don't behave like monkeys. Uh, I don't want any fucking 13-year-old children coming here and trying to act smart or trying to act tough or trying to troll me. I will not appreciate that. I will instantly ban any comment that is insulting me. You can still disagree with me on a positive level. You don't have to be a fucking smart ass by typing anything offensive in the comments. So do be notified on that part. I will not take easily to any offensive or negative behavior. Do keep that in mind. I don't appreciate that. Because I want to keep my channel clean and friendly for everybody. I'm trying to build a very good community here. I've only made, uh, run my channel for like a month. So I'm looking for the next... Uh, long term next three months six months as to how my channel is gonna grow all right so i'm not i don't want to provide any garbage quality like most youtubers i'm trying to provide something special for you people so please do appreciate that try to resonate with me all right so that's the best i can ask of you so do be polite right so do subscribe to my channel if this you want to see more content from my channel you know uh, turn on bell notifications for future updates future live streams future videos future shorts and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Goodbye.